2024 is here, which means it's time to review the list of upcoming Christian video games in the year of 2024. I am so excited to tell you guys this list, as I'm sure you're excited to see the games that you can expect and play by the end of the year. But before we get into upcoming Christian video games, let's do a quick rewind of 2023. The only real substantial video game release in 2023 was that of True Play Games, which, as you guys know if you've seen my previous review, is an entire library of mobile games designed for kids to play in a safe environment without online chat features, ads, and other things like that. They've released nine different games so far, most of them emulating mainstream games. They're all bright and colorful, lacking in originality, but having a certain polish that I haven't seen in Christian video games in a while. For those of you who want more information on this project, be sure to check out our review on True Play Games. So now, let's get into upcoming Christian video games in 2024. And the first one is One of 500. This game we've talked about again and again and again, and it's just been under development each year without an end in sight. And we still don't have a release date for this ambitious looking game. This is one of the most visually beautiful Christian video game projects I've ever seen, but it's a little bit weird that we're just not getting any updates on the release. It appears to be heavy under development, especially with the last year a big focus being on animating as we've seen released video clips of them working on animation with actual motion capture suits. So there's definitely a certain level of professionalism with this project where you're playing in historical Jerusalem during the days of Jesus Christ. The most recent update we've gotten was that of a video clip showing one of the side stories where a young boy is encountering one of the rabbis who tells him he has to get a perfect score on a test in order to continue studying under him. So there's probably project still seems to be deep under development. I don't really know what to tell you guys as far as a release date. I wish I could tell you would get some kind of a beta by the end of the year. That'd be great, but not a lot was not a lot was released on this project throughout 2023, so I can't really guarantee we'll get a big update in 2024. Next up, we have As One We Survive, which is one of the most unique faith-based projects I think I've ever seen in my entire life. This is an ambitious top-down survival game based on a post-apocalyptic world where society is falling apart and the main characters of this game have to lean on each other and their faith for survival. But when the main character's daughter gets sick, he's thrust on a mission to find medicine to save his daughter from impending sickness or even death. This is definitely survival at its finest, where it leans on some of the classic survival features you've grown to expect, like camping, crafting, combat, in-game community, and more. And I actually know the developer of this game well enough to know that he is going to work as hard as he possibly can to give you guys all the features he is possibly able to with the development time that he has. In 2023, this project funded over $20,000 to allow it to be regularly developed throughout this entire year, so we should see some steady progress on this. A demo should actually be released of this pretty soon this year for those who kickstarted the project, and I'll get you guys some of that footage as soon as I can. A full release is unlikely, but it is quite possible that we see a beta or alpha of some form by the end of the year on this really interesting looking project. One of the projects I've seen the most most progress on over the last year is The Serpent and the Seed, perhaps one of the most unique Christian video games I've ever seen. This game is a largely side-scrolling adventure game where you play as a cute Robin exploring various stories throughout the book of the Bible, like Adam and Eve, Abraham, Moses, David and Goliath, and the life and death of Jesus. There are a lot of characters that are apparently under development in this game, and normally I'm wary of that, but I get the impression that most of the characters are going to have very short sections in this game where you wrap rapidly go from one to the other, allowing the developer to put a lot of characters in this game without putting too much work on themselves and going too ambitious with the scope. This project really makes me reminiscent of some of the older adventure games in the late 90s and early 2000s. It's a style that's largely been lost in modern gaming and it's something really cool to see being recreated in this modern world using modern technology. Visually, this looks absolutely beautiful from what I've seen and literally in early 2023, all we had was concept art and it's gone now to almost completed sequences of visually dazzling art. So I think in 2024 we're going to see a lot of progress on this project. Maybe not a full release, it's hard to say, but I think we're going to get very close by the end of this year. This project crowdfunded over $40,000 in 2023. So I think it's safe to say that this project is going to see a lot of progress this year. A full release? Probably not. But who knows? Who knows what could happen? Also, big props for the music in this game. It's a musical adventure game, and from some of the little musical snippets I've heard, it sounds absolutely amazing. Oh, cursed it is the snake with 
the law and with the ground. Now, to bring back one game that we talked about in the rewind is True Play Games. Now, this is obviously a platform that's already been released over 2023. However, it's highly likely that we're going to see at least one or two more games released within the platform. For those of you who aren't familiar with, with what True Play Games is, it's an app that you download that has numerous games built into the app. And periodically throughout the year, True Play Games is developing games and will release new games within the app. Each game is about equivalent to any mobile game that you would download off of the App Store or Play Store. So there haven't been any new ones announced or teased yet, but it's very likely that because these aren't massive games in scope, that we could see one or two new releases to this within the year of 2024. Another game that is very, very unique, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in Christian games, is called Foothold. This is being developed by Christian Game Developers Conference, the same people who made Dreams and Nightmares and Space Beasts, which both won the award award for Christian video games of the year. This game is a VR game, one of the first in Christian video games, and not just a VR game, but a tower defense game. From little snippets of gameplay that I've seen, it almost gives me a sci-fi kind of feel, where you're living inside of a fortress that you have to build up the walls and protect from impending invaders. It's very unique. I haven't seen a whole lot of clips from this, so I can't really form a full opinion on it, but just the concept itself is really intriguing, so it'll just take time to tell whether this project ends up being something that's worth your time or not, but it definitely has my attention. Another interesting game is called Exodus Vigil. This is a action adventure game where you play as a mercenary in Egypt during the days of Moses in the Bible. This is actually based off of a published book by the same name, published by Chris Murray, who's actually a pretty prominent figure in the Christian game development world. In this game, you play as a variety of characters working as mercenaries or employees for prominent Egyptians who then come into contact with Moses and have her life transformed by one of the most influential characters in the entire Bible. I give props to the game for probably one of the most ambitious stories in a Christian video game to date. Now there's definitely more to be polished with the visuals and gameplay mechanics of this game, but it'll be interesting to see what the story ends up looking like as I think that that is one of the strongest things this game has going for it is one of the most vibrant stories I've seen in a Christian video game. But again, time will tell and we'll see as this project nears completion. And then another game we brushed up on last year and nothing is really happened since then is Aiden and the Secret World. It was almost a year ago that the developers released a really intriguing cinematic trailer for this game that's based off of spiritual warfare. The cinematic trailer was visually beautiful, but there wasn't really any released actual gameplay footage from the game, and since then, nothing has really been released. I managed to find this one clip of some in-game footage that honestly looks really interesting. It looks dark, sinister, even gothic in sorts, but since then, this was early 2023 nothing has come out so I don't know if this project is even under development as the developers don't seem to really have an online presence so if anything new comes up about this project I'll let you guys know and now for the project that all of you guys have been waiting for you wanted to hear about this project is Bible X. Bible X has taken the internet by storm. It was 2023's biggest Christian video game project under development. This project has been blowing up across social media, across YouTube. On Instagram, they've grown to 135,000 followers, and YouTube videos about this game have accumulated over a million views. This ambitious game project centers on a world in the future where Christianity is persecuted by a governmental organization known as D-Force. In order to defend the tenets of the faith, believers designed a time travel machine in order to allow the main character Max to travel back to the days of Jesus Christ to gather evidence and prove D-Force's false claims about Christianity wrong. In this game, you play as Max back in historical Jerusalem. In Jerusalem, that's true to scale with a full-size temple mount and an explorable temple. The scope of this game and the visual beauty of this game is unlike anything that I've ever seen and it continues to pick up steam. Back in 2023, this project accumulated around 300 $50,000 in crowdfunding, which means we're going to see some heavy development updates in the year of 2024. This game is actually scheduled for the first release by the end of 2024. Whether that's a beta or alpha or actual full playable release, I'm not entirely sure, but time will tell and we'll definitely be seeing something by the end of the year. As a matter of fact, if you guys are antsy and can't wait till the end of the year, you can actually download and play the early demo now off of Steam. I've got a link in the video description below where you can check that 
that out. Anyway, that is what you guys can expect in 2024. This is shaping up to be probably one of the most exciting years with perhaps the most releases I've ever covered in one of these videos. So, I mean, I'm excited. I'm happy. Are you excited? Are you happy? Tell me in the comments below. What game are you most excited about? Is it Bible X? Is it another game? All right, is there a game that I missed? Tell me in the comments below so I can cover in a future video. I can't wait to hear from you guys. It's going to be exciting seeing what 2024 ends up being like. And uh, now I've got to end this video. Yeah! Christ follower, I've made the resolution to take every opportunity possible to share my faith with the world. If you've never given your life to Christ, I'd love to share with you how Christ has transformed the man that I've become. I've attached my email onto this video where you can shoot me a quick email and I'd love to have that conversation. Or if you're a Christian struggling with your faith or just looking for ways to grow closer to God, I'd love to have that conversation with you. With that, you guys have an awesome day. God bless.